digging. Ah. Nice hog. Ooh. Nice hog. Nice keeper hog. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yes. That, ladies and gentlemen, that's what we come out here for. <laughs> There's your hogfish fillet. All right, we are out here. The boys just ran inside. Bay Pines bait and tackle. Best in the area. Check them out. Ooh. I get some of that ice. Best ice in town. Some weights and some hooks, baby. Yeah, so we got a wreck out here that we're looking to fish. Uh, we got another boat out on it, so right here scanning the bottom, looking for some some other good structure down there. That about 47 foot of water. Um, we got some good reefy bottom. We're looking for some hogfish, grouper, snapper, and uh, I'm sure some other species to go with it. Oh, there he goes. That's a nice fish. Or a decent fish. Porgy. Beautiful porgy. Look at the colors on this thing. Look at those lines on its head right there. Beautiful fish. Similar to hogfish, the fillets are. Yeah. Beautiful fish, that's going in the box, baby. Straight on line. That's first one, baby. Let's try and get a hog. It's got something. What is it? Another porgy. Oh, nice. Pork, I am the pork chop master. <laughs> that's a good size one, too. That's a good eater size. Oh, here's going. Oh. Yeah. It's all right. We'll get more of those. Well, these hogfish is the fish we're targeting. They're a very finicky fish, very subtle bite. So you want to keep your finger on that line so you can feel the slightest bit of bites. And uh, sometimes you just feel a couple little pecks. Might be a hogfish just sitting there with that shrimp in his mouth. Just cruised on up, found a new spot, found some good marks on the bottom of the GPS. And now we're going to drop back down again, see if we can't get a hogfish. Ben's, oh, Ben's got something. A little grouper. Ooh, what's that? A red grouper. Beautiful fish. It's got to be about double the size of that to keep it. They are very good eating, but this one's going to swim and see another day. Put a little knot in my line. That's the best way to grab them, just like that. Do the tail, pop it back, drop her down. On the tip, you can feel that that bite really well. Yeah. Some people we see out here, these you know big old, big old rods where they can't like something like this trying to catch hogfish. It's gonna be, it's gonna be tough to feel that bite. This has a circle hook on it, so it actually sets itself. So you just start, you just start reeling and keep the line tight. Don't let any slack get in the line. Yo, so I just gotta point it out that the weather is just fantastic right now. Yeah. Florida winter. Florida right here. Loving this sunshine. That's a hog. It's a little one. Hey, well you got little you got? ones, you got big ones. That's a grunt. Grunt snapper. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> female hogfish. And look, barely hooked them. It's a beautiful fish right there. Beautiful fish. Get her back in the water and look for Big Daddy. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's got a little more pull. That's a hog. Or female hogfish. It's a little closer to keeper size, but not quite. Needs to be a little bigger. He's digging. Oh, that's a good one. Might be a grouper. Oh yes, that's a nice fish. Nice 
hog. Ooh. Nice hog. Nice keeper hog. Yeah, yeah baby. Yes. That's what we came That's out here for. That's a beautiful for. hog. Yes. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what we come out here for. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Captain Ben on the hog. Open up that mouth. Yes, sir. Chomper on that thing. Wow. Yeah, I set my rod down. <laughs> to go, <laughs> sit to go net that last hogfish for Taylor. I come back and this one was just sitting on the line. He swallowed my hook. This one is going on ice. We're eating it for dinner. That is a chunk. They don't. There's one. Not real big. Oh yeah. Brut snapper. So, although these might not be the fish you're targeting, it's a good sign when you're catching them because they live in the same structure as these hogfish, the grouper. Uh, so it's a good life support for the ecosystem. And they they are good eating, but not worth targeting. So we're gonna throw them back. Little one. It's a nice looking fish. Yeah, he's got some chompers. What? Out here, fishing all day, I had to throw a line in. Some beginner's luck. I got a porgy, look how beautiful he is. We're gonna throw it on some ice and we're gonna eat him later. Mm. For those of you that don't know, the white bait is a, another term for a scaled sardine. It's a very common bait fish here in the Gulf of Mexico. I also go by white bait, greenback, pilchard. Really good bait for snapper grouper. This is crazy right now. It is like a lake. We're in the middle of the ocean. Taylor are teaching me everything. They're experts. They're catching fish all the time. Oh, oh okay. yeah. Red fin herring, pinch the tail off. It gets a little scent in the water. Put them right there through the back. Groupers like that. This is ah. The old lizard. Man, that is crazy looking fish. Oh. That ain't real big. Another grunt. Get up here in the last minute or two. It's a hog fish. Well, it's a good hog. sign, guys. Well, baby hog. Usually when we catch one hog fish, there's gonna be more. Female hog fish. Beautiful. Good colors. Well, we're normally not keeping grunts today, guys, but this one swallowed the hook. Pretty low chance of survival. Throw them on ice. They are good eating. These are good. Really good white flaky meat. It's in the snapper family, so any kind of snapper is going to be good eating. Snapper on that thing. Those fangs. They use that mouth. They dig around down in the sand with that snout. And they pick crustaceans, crabs, and shrimp. That's all these things eat is crustaceans. I think that's what makes their meat so succulent and delicious. One of the most sought after fish that you can't eat. I mean, it's special. It's very important to bury the fish on ice. You want that temperature to get ice cold. It'll keep your meat really good and fresh. It's a hog fish. It's a hog. Oh! It's short though. Nice. Still a nice one. Short. 13. Oh, man. Here she is. I would go ahead and get it. Oh, nice grouper. Yes. Nice grouper. It's a nice gag grouper. He's going to be close to keeper size. We'll put him on the board and see what he measures. Two is right there. It's 21. Okay, sure. He's got to be right there. In order to keep him, he's short. We're gonna let him swim. Good. 
El Grunto. That one swallowed the hook too. So we're gonna put them on ice, we'll eat them up. <laughs> Look at it pissing everywhere. <laughs> ah. The oh my puffer. gosh. <laughs> oh, no. Look at that thing. Like a balloon. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the teeth. <laughs> Sounds like a balloon. <laughs> Throw them in there, it'll float. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Takes on it. It was different. Come on. Never fails. Nuh uh. It's a grunt. There's a little Spanish mackerel chasing it up. Out in the sky, man. We got some towards land, but out here west in the Gulf. There you go. You got the reaction. <laughs> <laughs> mm, good eating. Yeah, throw him in the box. Fried lizard. <laughs> well, so we drop a butterfly. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Funky looking dude. Get them cleaned up. Wait till you see the meat on this thing. There's your hogfish fillet. Wow. We got the porgy. That was the one I caught. Was it? Yeah. Yeah, Rusty got one on his first drop. Lay right off that. Look at that. Nice hop. You got some bones right here. Just kind of angle it, chop them out. And you got some pin bones that run straight down. So you just kind of do a little line like that. Barely any bloodline. A lot of fish will have like a super red line that some people don't cut out, but. Me and Ben normally always cut it out. But yeah, that's good for that. Yeah, compare that to the porgy. The porgy and the hogfish, they're honestly very similar. Yeah. I mean, don't overlook those porgies out there, folks. They're good eating. Fire. They're really good eating. They, uh, you cook them side by side with hogfish and they are pretty darn similar. Take that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna boil it. There's good meat up in this head. Up in here in the collar, you boil that down, you make a good stock with it. I don't eat the eyes personally. Eat them raw. Just follow right on that back, poke through. I grab it like that and just fillet down the back. Turn it. So 
Now we're going to take the filet off one. the skin. So it'll be boneless, skinless filet of hogfish. Just kind of run your knife right down the skin. They got nice thick scales, so you can feel that skin pretty easily with these. I think. I'm going to take this because we're going to be doing some crusted Parmesan crusted fish. I'm going to take it and cut it into some smaller portions. That right there is a nice sized portion. Look at that. Look at that plate of fish. One one hog fish. That can feed a family. I mean, it's amazing what one fish like that can do. Shout out to big homie Rusk coming through. Tonight we got hogfish, grunt, and porgies that we're going to bake in the oven. We got some fresh garlic bread. We got potatoes and onions seasoned up with like paprika, garlic salt, all that good stuff, cayenne, black pepper. We got some stuffed mushrooms with Parmesan, cream cheese, breadcrumbs, all that good stuff. About to throw that in here soon. Parmesan crusted hogfish, porgy. We're gonna start off with a little egg. All right, we're gonna get the egg beat it up, beat it, now we're gonna make our breading, all right? Good old breadcrumbs. Parmesan cheese. Everglades original seasoning. A little cayenne pepper. A little cracked black pepper. Here is our hogfish chunks. Look at that, I mean, that's just as good as it gets. So you're gonna drop it in the egg. All right, a little egg wash on there. It's gonna give the breading something to hold to. We're gonna toss in the breading. Get it real nice and breaded up. This is a simple meal, y'all. I mean, this is as simple as it gets. So, no matter what your level of cooking experience is, you know, you can do this. All right, folks, in it goes. Check on in about 20 minutes. I tell you what, folks, this man knows how to blacken some fish. Okay. Copy off a little more butter. Throw it up in the small fish. I get some light. Put a little lemon on there. Oh, blackened fish. Mm. Uh oh. Just listen to the sizzle. It's so good I didn't have time to sit down to eat. I mean, just the white flakiness of this meat is incredible.